listening to Good Morning Gwinnett, a division of Noise Media Network, hosted by Audrey Bell Kearney, sharing stories about people and places around beautiful Gwinnett County and beyond. Monday through Thursday at 10 a.m. Southern Living at its best. Good morning, good morning, good morning, all my Gwinnettes out there in Gwinnett land and all of my friends around the world. It is a beautiful day here in Gwinnett County, 74 degrees, going up to a lovely 81. That's going to be lovely, y'all. That's that nice weather. That's that nice, calm kind of weather where, you know, it's not too hot, just beautiful. So it's going to be a beautiful day here in Gwinnett County. Hope you have started off your day with a bang because I have. I've been up for a long time, so I have to I have a presentation to do today, so... I had to get up early, make sure everything was right, put together. Not only that, this is going to be kind of like a short show so I can get going, but I just wanted to drop in this morning and say good morning, let you know what your horoscope has to say also. But before I get started, y'all, before I get started, I got to give a happy birthday shout out to someone who is extremely important to my life and in my heart. Happy birthday to my beautiful daughter, Dominique. Today is her birthday. I also want to give a birthday shout out to uh, my good friend, Walter Cross. Today is his birthday. So she was actually born on his birthday. That's a birthday I'll never forget. So happy birthday, darling. I love you so much. And I wish you many, 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 many more. Today is her birthday. We're going to Frankie's tonight up at, up at the 1818 Club. So we're going to go hang out, look very professional. And, you know, because 1818 Club and Frankie's is, is no slouch. You can't go in there with your sneakers on and your jeans on. You got to go in there like you're ready to just um, have some champagne. So we're going to Frankie's this evening for her birthday. Um, you know, and she's one of those people, she has to celebrate her birthday. Like me personally, I'm just thankful that God showed me another year. So I don't, I don't, it's never a big to do with me, but to her and like some of my friends, it's a, it's like, it's like if they don't do anything for their birthday, they're depressed. Me personally, nah, if you woke me up today again, like you did yesterday, I'm blessed. I don't have to have a big to do, but she's not like that. She has to have, I got, I got a bunch of friends like that though. They have to have something going on for every single occasion. That's not me. That's not me. I'm just not that person. But I'll be at Frankie's tonight having me some calamari and some lobster. So um, today's her birthday. Happy birthday, Dominique. I love you for life. And I wish you many, 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 many more. So the baby said to me, Gia, because my, my granddaughter calls me Gia. Gia, today's mommy's birthday. I said, I know today's mommy's birthday. Happy birthday to you. She started singing. She likes to sing happy birthday. So today's mommy's birthday. Um, I saw also National Alaska Day, National Insurance Awareness Day, and National Logistics Day. It's also National Paul Bunyan Day. So you got some, so Paul Bunyan, Insurance Awareness, Logistics, and Alaska. How about that? Today is June 28th. Um, happy birthday, Walter Cross again. And many, 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 many more to you as well. All right, let's get on with these horoscopes brought to you by Nota Discharge and Michael Thyssen for today, June the 28th. It is Tuesday, June the 28th. Look, we got two more days and it'll be July 1st. Time does not wait for anyone. You hear what I'm saying? Not anybody. Does not wait. All right, we're going to kick this thing off like we always do. And that is with Aries. Today will be hectic. You will be uncertain of your feelings uncertain of your feelings it's favorable time it's a favorable time for real estate investments and money making opportunities to be successful so your day gonna be real hectic today today aries and you're gonna be uncertain about your feelings but in the meantime money investments and opportunities they're gonna be successful today so hopefully all the work that you put in so far is gonna pay off starting today that's a good thing taurus be careful signing contracts today they will not they will not be in the right frame of mind to put up with the tactless comments. All right, be careful what you say today, Taurus, because that person is not, listen, it's a lot of people right now that's not in their right frame of mind. They're, they're doing some crazy stuff. So just be careful what you say. Be mindful what you say and how you say it because they're not going to be in the right frame of mind to put up with any kind of tactless comments that you're going to say today. So just watch out. Social events may, may lead to romantic interludes. All right, now listen here. Listen here, Taurus. Romantic interludes, uh, make sure there's nobody else involved. I get it. You want some excitement in your life. I understand. I understand you're bored. Things are not going the way you want it to. And anybody showing you some attention right now can lead to a romantic interlude. Just remember, though, if you're in a situation, there's other people attached to you and that person. So just know that before you go on your interlude. Just, just trying to help you out. 
Gemini, use your obvious uh, talent to work with the detail and you could come up with something great. Empty promises are evident. Don't let relatives demand, make demands on you. All right, listen, tell your relatives to fall back. You know what I'm saying? I can't do it right now. Fall back. Don't let them put demands on you that you know you can't do. And then somebody's going to be making you some empty promises. If you know they're empty, don't take them for, don't listen, don't take them at face value when you already know. You know that person that's always promising something that they don't hold up to? That person. Don't even pay them no attention. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. You know, some people you just got to just say yes and keep moving. Even when you don't believe in what they're saying, you know they don't tell the truth. You know they don't keep their word. You know they're not dependable. You just say, okay, anyway. Just keep it moving. Just say, okay, okay. Because you already know. You already know you because you know the person. Cancer, help others solve their dilemmas. Take work home, but be sure to spend some time with your mate. Tell it like it. T.I. is. All right, now listen here, Cancer. Tell it like it is, right? But be careful how you say it and who you say it to. Because you want to make sure now you ain't stepping on no toes. I'm, I'm not saying don't be truthful and honest. Just be careful how you say it and what you say. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Help others solve their problems. You, you a problem solver today, so help them. Leo, avoid extravagance or risky financial schemes. Groups and organizations that indulge in social events to raise money will be conducive to meeting new and exciting lovers. You can win if you open up, open and if you're open and upfront with your boss, all right, listen, you're going to do some social, some stuff to raise some money. Then you're going to meet a new and exciting lover. Okay. Listen here. I'm going to tell you the same thing I said a minute ago. That sounds exciting. I get it. It's exciting. It's fun. It's, oh my God, it's adventurous. It's edgy. Just make sure nobody else is involved in that little triangle. Make sure it's not a square. Make sure it's not a triangle. Make sure it's just, just two ends of the, one line, one person on one end, one person on the other end. You don't need any triangles. You don't need any squares. Just want, well, let me say this. Maybe you want that. It depends on you, I guess. I always say that, but then I have to think about that. I've been watching this show called Seeking Sister Wives. This is what I watch at night sometimes on Sundays. And so Seeking Sister Wives, they're in triangles. Some of them got squares. So I'm just saying if that's not you, then don't involve other people in that. That's all I'm saying. I'm just saying. All right, Virgo. You would have to watch out for minor health problems related to stress. Someone is trying to pull the wool over your eyes, and if you're gullible, it may cost you. Think of changes to your home that would please and add everyone's comfort. Okay, add to everyone's comfort. Okay, listen, somebody's trying to pull the wool over your eyes. Don't be gullible, Virgo. Listen, we can all be gullible at some point, but don't be gullible because they're trying to pull the wool over your eyes, and who knows what's going to happen when you, when you can't see. I'm just saying. So watch yourself. Watch that person trying to pull the wool over your eyes because you need to see what's happening, okay? Okay. All right, I'm going to a song. I'll be right back after this song to bring you more of the horoscopes brought to you by Noda Destroyed and Micah Thyssen. Stay tuned. <laughs>
Mike, it's your girl, Audrey Bell Kearney, bringing you the Daily Horoscopes, brought to you by noted astrologer Micah Thyssen. We'll pick it up with Libra. Curb your mood swings. They could result in loneliness. Do something. Don't do something silly just to get back at your mate. You must not lead someone on or show interest in them for the wrong reason. Stop trying to lead folks on, Libra. Stop trying to use it to your advantage that they attract, babe, that they are attracted to you. You're using them. That's not a good thing. It's going to backfire in your face. Karma is a mother freaker. I want to say something else, but this is a family show. So, Scorpio, you will reap the benefits if you put money into upgrading your residence. Plan a day of enjoyment with them. Don't vacillate about asking for assistance if you need it. Here's the thing, Scorp. If you need to ask, just ask. You know, a lot of times we know we need help, but we won't ask because we have too much pride. And so we struggle. Stop struggling and ask for help. Put your, put your pride aside and say, hey, I need your help. It's that simple. I get it. If you're like some people I know, they don't want to ask for help because they feel like if they ask for help, they're going to owe somebody something. So instead of asking for help because you don't want to owe anybody, which means you don't want to do anything for anybody. That's kind of selfish. So you struggle. Because I don't want to do anything for you, so I'm not going to ask you to do anything for me. How about that? So you struggle. Sagittarius. Jealousy may get in the way of a good relationship. Renovations or purchases made for your home will pay off. Your lover will be extremely sensitive, and now will not be a good time to make changes they won't like. Yep, okay, I know. I get it. You saying, you're saying to yourself, this me, though. You can't tell me what to change about myself. Here's the thing. Don't rock the boat if you don't have to. If that person is extremely sensitive, I get it. You can't control that. But here's the thing. If you can help it at all, just try. Make the changes later. Are they really urgent that you need to make them like right now, today? If not, just wait for a minute. Just make. Sometimes you have to bite your tongue. Sometimes you have to compromise and make the situation better. Trust me. If you're alive, you have to compromise. I feel like that should be like on a slogan for something. If you're alive, you got to compromise. I know. I'm just saying. Capricorn. Curb your impulse to make lavish purchases and maybe spend some time with good friends. Be sure that you have all the facts before you take action. You may not want to spend time around family or home. <laughs> what did your family and your home do to you? You need to get out and spend some time with your friends. Go ahead, spend some time. Sometimes you just need that reprieve. You need that reprieve away from your family. I get it. You just need to be by yourself for a second or be with good friends that you can just shoot the breeze with no expectations except to have fun. I understand. We all need that. If you're human, you need, you need that. So go ahead. Aquarius, creative educational pursuits will pay off. Go directly to the source if you want to know exactly what's been going on. Secret affairs may be tempting, but keep in mind that they will damage your reputation if you decide to indulge. That's why it's called a secret, secret Aquarius. Don't do it. I get it. You're lonely. You're bored. Nothing is going right. You're not feeling appreciated. You're not feeling love. You're not feeling one. I get all of that. Don't do it. Your rep is on the line, baby. And if you indulge and that secret gets out, that's your reputation that's going to be damaged. And it's going to take you a minute to build it back up. Now you're going to be all of the things you were unhappy, sad, not feeling wanted, and shamed. I'm just trying to help you out, girl or guy. You're going to be shamed, and you're still not going to have what you wanted. So why not just try to figure out how to make it work where you are? Don't do it. It's a secret. Woo, I feel like somebody needs to hear that today. Last but not least, my fellow fish Pisces. Tempers could boil if someone you work with has not been pulling their weight. Do not jump to conclusions concerning your romantic partners. You should put your efforts into creative projects. All right. All right. So listen now, Fish. Listen, don't jump to conclusions about your partner. I know something don't seem right. Something don't smell right. Something ain't looking good. So now your mind is starting to wonder, like, why is this the way it is? Because now you're starting to think of these stories in your head that may not necessarily be true, but you're thinking it. Because something just ain't right. Something is just not adding up. So you're starting to think about things that you're not sure about. So don't jump to conclusions because you could be totally wrong. I'm just saying. The mind will play tricks on you. You hear me? Especially when stuff starts to look a little funny. Like, now something. That I've been trying to, like, ignore it. I've been trying to say, okay, well, it is what they said it was. But it's starting to smell stinky. And now your mind is starting to just start to jump to conclusions. Don't. Don't do it, fish. In the meantime, pray, meditate, and find something creative to do. Start a creative project or something like that. All right? All right. 
That's all the horoscopes I got for you today. I'll be back again tomorrow at 10 a.m. to bring you more of the horoscopes brought to you by Noted Astrology Michael Thoughts. And now let's get on with some news you can use. Well, um, Ludacris manager got shot this past weekend. Preferably he's okay, you know, but somebody else had to die. So a man was killed and two others were injured. Um, his name is Shaka Zulu. Um, Shaka Zulu, Sunday night. Um, Atlanta police investigated the triple shooting at the twenty at the two hundred two thousand two hundred block of Peachtree Road early Monday morning in the Monday morning hour. Several restaurants and shops, um several restaurants and shops shared the parking lot, which is situated behind a row of businesses off the off the busy street. Police Lieutenant Jermaine um Dear Love told Channel Two News the shooting was the result of a dispute in the parking lot. But he did not say if the three victims had visited any of the businesses before the gunfire rang out around 11.35. See, that's crazy. You can't, listen, don't argue with people. Do not. You can't argue with anybody. You can't say, it, it's so sad. People just, you got guns, they just go crazy. So don't listen. Don't, don't argue with folks. Don't argue. Just don't. It, it's just so sad. So they, a young man died. He was 23 years old. He died, you know, um... And it's so sad. It's just sad. It says, Monday afternoon, Atlanta Police Department, police confirmed one of the two injured men was Shaka Zulu, the longtime manager and musician of musician Ludacris. Um, the conditions of Zulu and the other men were not released in a statement to Channel 2 News. Yeah, that's so sad. You know, um, it's it's fortunate that he, he did not die. Unfortunately um, for the young man who did die. You know, just just crazy. Yep, that's crazy. One woman identified by medical examiner's officer was a 26-year-old Brittany Macon. She was killed, and the other was taken to to into surgery. So it was a woman involved in that shooting and everything. I wonder, did it have anything to do with the woman? You know, I just, I don't know. Anyway, to read the full story, go over to uh, AJC.com. You'll see it there. It's just sad that this kind of stuff... People have guns, and they just walk. Listen, in the state of Georgia, you don't even need a license. Just get you a gun and just walk around. You don't even need a license. You know, and then people get mad and they just start shooting. That's why I say to anybody, much as I, much as I used to mouth off, because people would piss me off and I would just mouth off. I don't say anything because I just I realize I love my family and I want to be here as long as I can with them. So even when people tick me off and trap, I was driving one day and I was in the right. This lady was flying up behind me. Now I'm at the light. There's nowhere, no, no, nowhere for me to go, and she's blowing the horn. I'm like, what? What you want me to do? Run over this car? Apparently, she wanted me to run over the car in front of me. So when I got a chance to move up enough for her to bypass me on the right side, she shot the bird at me. She was she was foaming at the mouth out the window and shot the bird as if I did. I'm in my car. There's cars in front of me, and she's blowing the horn. So when I was able to move up a little bit, she was able to get by, and that woman was foaming at the mouth like a dog with rabies. I'm like, you are a fool. But there are a lot of crazy people out here, so... You know, just be careful, y'all. Don't don't be arguing with people about anything because these people have guns. They have they are they're mentally unstable. It's just a lot that's going on right now in the world. And as much as I hate to say it, it is. So, be you the the least little thing pick tick somebody off like the girl that was driving down the highway. So that so there was a young lady driving down the highway. There was a passenger on the passenger side. She was seventeen years old. There was a woman. I guess she cut the lady, the driver cut the lady off or something. But a lady got out the car and shot the 17-year-old passenger in the face. She lived, thank God. But why? Roll rage? Same thing with the bus driver over here in Gwinnett County a few about a month ago. This lady, the school bus, picking up kids and picked up these folks' kids. She, the lady said that the school bus cut her off. She got out. She cut the school bus off, got out of her car, and shot 12 times at the, at the windshield. Nuts. And she had kids. So you got a busload of kids and you're going to shoot. What if the bullet would have hit somebody's kid? I'm telling you, don't say anything to anybody. I tell my daughter at all times, she's forever fuzzing every morning about traffic. Somebody's in traffic. Somebody, like, stop. Just, just, just stop. Don't even just go ahead. Let them go. And I used to get pissed off like that. But I just realized you just, these people are crazy. Like, they get mad at you for stupid stuff. So it's just nuts. Anyway, let's keep it moving. Gwinnett Newton, Gwinnett Newton and Rockdale Health Department announced it would change its name to GNR Public Health. Yep, the district health 
will spend the remainder of this year rolling out his new name and branding. So they're rebranding. Listen, I think I done rebranded about three times in the last two years. I just, not so much as rebrand, but definitely did some pivoting because of everything that's happening and because of where I want to be. So listen, it would make sense that a, a, a government organization would change his name and rebrand because it's a business at the end of the day. Yes, it's for us, for the community, but it's still a business. So the Gwinnett, Newton, and Rockdale departments are shortening their name, but they are leaving a trace of these identities of the three counties um, that make up the health district in a, in a new moniker. The health district, which has long been called GNR for short, is taking it, its nickname and owning it, literally. So now it's going to be GNR, which stands for Gwinnett, Newton, and Rockdale. It's going to be GNR Public Health, so they're doing some rebranding. They said, um, we felt now was an excellent time to create more, vis more more visually appealing and recognizable brands, said Dr. Audrey Arona, District Health Director of GNR Public Health. Most importantly, we want to <clears throat> we want to change our name to include public health because our focus is indeed on our public. So that's a great opportunity for them to rebrand and put the focus. Listen, it's a business, y'all. I get the whole rebranding situation. I totally get it. Totally. I get it get it all with so baltimore a baltimore based company buys the shops at gwinnett uh at web gym for 97 million dollars yes yes there's a new owner um baltimore based real estate investment and management company continental realty corporation recently recently purchased the 16 year old retail and lifestyle center which is located at the intersection of scenic highway and web gym house road near snellville for 97 million dollars the property is now continental realty corporation's fourth retail asset in georgia so they're coming here buying up stuff the shops at web gen is an institutional quality grocery uh anchored lifestyle center strategically located on a in a high growth suburb of atlanta which is us you know we they call us a high growth suburb we are high growth because people are moving people are people are moving into gwinnett county like like nobody's business i wonder if they're going to change the name at all they're just going to leave it the way it is anyway 300, the, 30, the 330,000 square foot shops at WebGen is 89% leased and is the home of more than 60 tenants, including Anchor Store, Sprouts Farmers Market, DSW, Barnes and Nobles, and H&M. So that's the whole, that's both sides. So WebGen shops on both sides. So when you go down WebGen Road, on the left side, you're going to see if you're coming from, if you're coming from Snellville and you made a right on WebGen, on the right side, you got Barnes and Noble, you got Bonefish Grill, the diner. On the left side, you got DSW, Ted's, and and um, Sprouts, and some other stuff. So right there, you got all of that. So they they bought all of that for ninety seven million. I was talking to somebody yesterday. I said, "Boy, I thought it would be. I thought it would cost more than ninety seven million. He was like, "It's it's not like it's ninety seven hundred. I was like, "I know, but I thought it would cost more than ninety seven million because that is um it is eighty nine percent leased and also um." Also, it's it's that's high traffic over there. So, I'm over there quite a, quite often doing things. So that's that's why I said that. I thought that would be a little bit more. All right, listen, nonprofits, this is for you. So listen, I need you guys to hear this because I hear this all the time when I'm in meetings. We didn't know about the money. We didn't know about the money. We didn't know about the money. So anyway, here you go, nonprofits. Local nonprofits that serve Gwinnett County residents will have an opportunity to apply for federal coronavirus recovery grants later this month. Gwinnett County, Gwinnett County and the United Way of Greater Atlanta will be accepting applications from August the 1st through August the 26th for grants to support programs that address issues such as housing, housing stability, food security, mental health, early education literacy, child care, and transportation. In all, $4.25 million in grant funding and grant funding using federal monies that were allocated in the American Rescue Plan will be distributed to help the non to help the community recover from COVID nineteen pandemic. Here's the thing: you got to you got to listen. You got to get this money. People always say, "I didn't know about the money. I didn't know about the money." So if you are, listen, but you got to be in, in one of these areas. You can't just be a nonprofit. So you got to be doing mental health, housing stability, food security, early education and literacy child care and transportation if you are not in one of those groups you cannot apply for this you got to be in one of those groups right you have to it says amid a turbulent economy Gwinnett is proud to partner with the united way of greater atlanta to get grant dollars to the dedicated nonprofits that help them Gwinnett county chairwoman nicole henderson said united way's long-standing re relationship with Gwinnett's nonprofit community 
will ensure funding goes further and makes it makes an impact, a positive impact on Gwinnett residents. Listen, you can't just you can't just apply because you're a nonprofit. You have to be a nonprofit in one of those areas. Okay, so that's what you gotta do. Um, the, the the porters get the grant money will not open until August the first. You gotta go to UnitedWayAtlanta.org to apply. It will not open until August the first. The United Way's grant portal will not open until August the first. But county officials said the organization is currently conducting digital learning surveys to identify top needs that will be prioritized in the grant dis- distribution process. So the surveys will be available at the United Way Atlanta's uh, Greater Atlanta's website through July 15. So you can go on there and take the survey so they can do a survey to see where the money should go. And then once they take the survey and look at all the numbers, then they're going to open up the portal August the 1st. And then you can apply. But right now what you want to do is go there and take the survey. Don't sit around and wait. Don't say, I didn't know. Go and take the survey. Go take the survey so they can assess the need and see how they can see who really needs this money for for the work that they're doing. Once they assess the need and the grant portal open on August the 1st, now they will start issuing out the money. They got 4.2 two five million dollars to issue out you want to get some of that money you got to be in those areas and you got to have taken you should have taken the survey first they're going to get first priority based on that based on the the the, the assessment okay so again go to www.unitedwayatlanta.org www.unitedwayatlanta.org don't mess around and miss the money and be like i didn't know there was money i'm telling you there's money i'm telling you this money all right, listen, I'm going to go to my last song and then I'm going to come back and give you my word of inspiration for the day because I got to go because um, I got to go speak at the Great East Side Chamber. I'm going to be talking about how to make money on Amazon um, and all of, Amazon is a great platform for entrepreneurs. And so I'm going to be talking about that at the Hampton Inn at 1130. We're going to be doing um, our brunch, Business Connections brunch today. So if you guys want to come on through, you can come on through the Hampton Inn over in Snellville. We're going to be there from 11.30 to 1.30. I'm going to be talking about Amazon and how you can leverage that platform to not only grow your business, but to make some extra income as well. So I'm going to go to my last song, then I'm going to come back and give you my word of inspiration for the day before I say la vie. All right, stay tuned. Say it again, say it again. You're saying you're sorry, so say it again.
welcome back. So listen, guys, that's all I got for you today. But before I go, I want to give you my word of inspiration. And here it goes. It says, the struggle you are in today is developing the strength you will need tomorrow. Mm, let me say that one more time. The struggle you are in today is developing the strength you will need tomorrow. Robert too said that, and boy, was he right. I know right now somebody is going through the struggle, and they're saying, why me, Lord? Why me? But you're going to need that strength tomorrow. You got to get through this. If you can get through today, you will make it through tomorrow. Yes, I'm telling you. It's so funny because I was talking to somebody this morning, and I was telling him, I said, you know, I've been trying to figure out who my real audience was for a long time. And what I'm, what, what has been shown to me is that my audience are women, mostly women who are older than me. And I was like, that's got to be my audience. And I said, you know, that's probably because I have a lot of empathy and a lot of patience. And I have one client, she's older than me. And she says that all the time. Like I was on the phone with her yesterday. She said, oh my God, you have so much patience with me. But I get that all the time. And what I find is that a lot of the women, there are women and they are older than I am. But I I, I feel like me being the, the, the caretaker of my mother for so many years, not a caretaker of her brother the same way. That was preparing me for what I need to do and who I need to work with because it I had to have patience. She was my mom and she knew that I would do anything for her. And as much as she used to say, I don't want to bother you, I really wish she could bother me right now. You know, and I would say to her, Mom, you're not bothering me. I'll do anything for you, which I would have. And I did, you know. So I feel like that was that was God prepared me to serve the people that I need to serve right now, which gave me a lot of patience and a lot of empathy. And so the struggle you're in right now, it's not for you. That struggle is not for you. It's going to be for the person, the people you got to serve tomorrow. I get it. You're struggling right now. You're saying, Lord, why me? You know, because you have to be able to serve the people that's coming tomorrow. In order for you to be able to serve them properly, you must have gone through this process, which looks like a struggle right now, but it's not a struggle. Oh, I feel like I need to preach. I feel like a pastor right now. The struggle is not for you, baby. It's for the people you got to serve. So what you're struggling with right now, trust me, it's going to come out tomorrow and you're going to be able to use it for strength. All right? That's all I got for you today. I got to go talk. Got to go talk some more. So that's all I got for you. Listen, be sure to follow me. Um, go to the website if you miss any episodes of this show, goodmorninggwinnett.com to listen to past episodes there. And feel free to pick buy something. Like, buy something if you want to support the show. I really would appreciate that as well. Also, be sure to download the app from the App Store. Whether you have an Android phone or Apple phone, there is an app for that. So be sure to download the app from the App Store. And, 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 um, the, give some reviews on Apple Podcasts. You know, leave a like, share, subscribe to the show, all of those good things. Anything you do to help this show is helping me move the show forward in a new direction and a bigger direction. So I thank you for listening. I'll be back again tomorrow at 10 a.m. You guys stay safe out there. And until next time, my friends, until next time, make it a great day. Bye, y'all. You've been listening to Good Morning Gwinnett. Make sure to tune in Monday through Thursday at 10 a.m. Eastern Time to find out what's happening around Gwinnett. If you like this episode, subscribe now and share with your friends. To learn more about Noise Media Network, visit noisemedia.us.